shout a better amen. I can hear you shout a living amen. I want you to sit down in a few minutes. God bless you. We began to look at some few things last time and I want us to pray when we talk about recovery. There are some reversal that must be made. Now, I look at Esther who needed to recover her true position. I'm going to show you the scripture, but for now, for foundation purpose, listen to me. The name Esther means what? Hadaza. Somebody say Hadaza. I can't hear somebody say Hadaza. The word Hadaza simply means star. Somebody say star. star. Now, me and you know that star ought to shine. All of you talk to me. Star ought to do what? Star ought to shine. But when a star is no longer shining, is it still a star? No. So, we realize that Esther was born into wealth. How do I know? Because in Babylonians, anytime they attack, anytime they attack, you know what they do? In that attack, they make sure they kill the feeble. They kill the poor. They kill those who have nothing to offer to the society. And they take special people into Babylon to become slaves. That means, a man that was shining in Israel goes to Babylon and stops shining. A man that was rich in, in Israel goes to Babylon and becomes a great man. So, for Esther, they reduce her to that level. How do I know? Because she only had one connection and her connection was at the gate called Mordecai, which was the uncle. That's the only person she has. And life relegated them and their destiny to the gates. I'm going to show you a scripture. Let us quickly read a scripture. Esther chapter 3 verse 9. Let's look at this. If it please the king, let it be written that it may be that they may be destroyed. And I will pay 10,000 talent of silver to the hand of those who have charge of the business to bring it into the king's treasury. And the king took his ring from his hand and gave it unto Haman, the son of Amadetta, the Agitite, the Jew's enemy. Today, we are recovering. Yeah. Every authority that was taken and to them shall be reissued. We recover. Yeah. Oh my God, I say we will recover. Yeah. I say it shall be recovered. Yeah. Now, I, I like that. But let me take you a bit deeper now. And I look at the same Esther chapter 4. Oh my God, are you still there? You don't sound like you are here. If you are here, shout, I am here. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Esther, okay, let me take Esther first. Esther chapter 8, verse 5. And said, if it please the king, if I have found favor in his sight, and the thing being right before the king, and be pleasing in his sight, let it be written to reverse, Kalama Sende, to reverse the letters Devised by Hema, the son of Hamadatha, the Agidat, which he wrote to destroy the Jews, which are in the province, king's provinces. Now, because of time, and I look at same Esther chapter 4, verse 1. The Bible goes further to say, and when Mordecai, look at now, when Mordecai perceived all that was done, Kayama say. So, what was done? Number one. Esther and her family are to be annihilated. A decree has been passed that must be reversed. A decree has been passed that Esther and anyone associated to her must be killed. Some of you listen to me now. You don't know that this convention you came or that you are into, that you are in right now, it could just be for God to reverse that decree in your life. But today it shall be reversed. Oh, I didn't hear you say it shall be reversed. So, like you know, a decree is an order by someone in authority. A decree is what? An order by someone in authority. A decree is also a judiciary or, or a judicial decision. A judicial decision. They've decided 
by the judiciary that this, this, this must be done. And so, for Esther to be annihilated, and why this thing was happening, the crown was still in her head. She was still rubbing her cream. She was still eating her food. But somebody was planning to remove her from the seats. But there was an uncle she has. I like such person. The Bible says, and when Mordecai what? Perceived. My friend was preaching yesterday about people who sleep too late. They sleep and they keep sleeping. The reason why Mordecai did not die at that gate is because he woke up. Because if you are still sleeping, you cannot perceive. Are you sure you're hearing me now? If you are sleeping, you can't perceive. And when we talk about perception, sleeping is not when you close your eyes. Your eyes can be open and you are asleep. Your eyes are open, you are asleep. When I mean you are asleep, you are not aware of your environment. Perception makes you not to eat some food. Perception makes you not to shake some hands. Perception makes you not to smile at some people because you know they are already mocking you. Today, your mockers will give way to your maker. When Mordecai perceived all that was done, that's why we are here. He needed to change his chair. Number one, he rejected the things that Esther brought. Esther brought some royal things, some things to cushion the, the situation on ground so that the uncle can be eating and forgets. That's some that's what some of us do. So now the uncle, the thing came and he said, Who brought this? They said, Esther from the palace. He said, yeah, Take it back to her. This is not what I need. Tell Esther she has to stand in gap. Tell Esther that's the reason why God took her to that position. All of you hear me now. Anywhere God is taking you to is for his namesake. It's not about you, it's for him. The day you forget it is the day you return to where you are coming from. But I pray for you, you will not return to where you are coming from. Don't ever forget this. Anything God gives you is not your own. He only gave you as a custodian. The day it becomes your own, that, that's why the enemy can always take it from you. Oh, I don't know if someone is still hearing me. If you are hearing me, lift your hand and shout, I hear you. So now, that while this was going on, Esther prayed. Mordecai prayed. They fasted. Perception to recover now. To recover first their lives. And secondly, to also recover their position. Because that decree that was signed means they are already dead. As far as the decree is concerned, they are dead. Nothing can save them. But they needed the recovery of, of that their life. That's one. So, why they did? Some way, Esther decided to stretch to the area of giving. And the Bible says she invited the king for a banquet. And went to buy a lot of things. I said, okay, sir, come and eat. But if you are coming to this meeting... I want you to come with your special um, minister of a special affair, whatever. We just want her, we want him in that place. And her man who was planning to kill them got an invitation to come and eat his last food. Why my knee touch this altar? From today, our enemy will eat their last food. Amen. Those who are after your life, they will eat their last food. Amen. They will love their last powder. Amen. They will wear their last shirts. If that amen can be louder, you will testify. Amen. I want you to see it, please. So, the decree was passed, sir. The decree was passed. And now, Esther knows I got to do something. So, she invited the king for banquet. And the king came in. They ate. <laughs> There's something about giving. Praise God. Immediately, the king, God, the king stretched forth. He said, Esther, tell me what you want. Don't forget, Esther has no, no authority to approach the husband when she wants. You may think Esther is a queen, but she was still a slave queen. Are you sure you're hearing me now? She was still a slave queen because she was limited. You know, you, if, if, if you can't have access to your husband, when you want your husband, you are still a slave. If you can't have access to your wife, when you want her, you are a slave. Until the king will stretch forth the scepter. That's when Esther is permitted to enter the palace. If not, she will be killed. She lived like that for years. But today, that limit shall be broken. So after that, the king forgot the decree. They forgot everything. He said, Esther, tell me what you want. 
Sir, I don't want anything. Let me quickly do a teaching. Even if you want something, don't present what you want. Present what you can do. People don't like liabilities. They want assets. Did you hear what I'm saying here? Stop putting on your face that you are a beggar. Let them see a lender instead of a beggar. Are you sure you're hearing me now? A man is taking you out as a lady for a date. We're going to have time tomorrow. My God, tomorrow morning. A man is taking you out for a date. And present all the food. Even if you are very hungry. Please, don't eat voraciously. Because when you are eating, we are observing you. This one will chop my money finish. Are you sure you're hearing me now? You just, just do and leave it there. Then when you go home, you go and top up the rest. But that place, no top up. Don't eat one and ask for another plate. Are you sure you're hearing me? You don't, I can't feel you at the back. Are you sure you're hearing me? So, Esther did not present, this is what I want. He said, this is what I want to give. He said, sir, come for banquet the next day. Okay? They came to banquet the next day. Are you all following me? They came to banquet the next day. And that was the turning point. The king finished eating. And now, the king is asking her, what do you want me to do? He said, sir, I'm your wife. He said, yes. But there's someone that wants to kill me. He said, who? This man that has been eating with us. This man by your side has been planning to kill me and my people. He said, what? Why she was still talking? Someone ran and told the king, this man has already prepared a gallows. To hang all the Israeli. And he said, what? You mean to hang my wife? Instantly they covered Haman. And Haman was hung in his gallows. That he used his money to prepare. My hand is lifted. Anyone that visited village because of you. Anyone that visited altar because of us. That altar will work against them. Jesus. I can't feel this. Man. I said that altar will work against them. I said that altar will work against them. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said that altar will work against them. Somebody shout, I reverse the decree. Shout it again, say, I reverse it. I can't hear you there, shout, I reverse it. Say it again, say, I reverse it. Say that decree is reversed. Say, I send it back to sender. Shout, I reverse that decree. Let me hear louder, amen. Let me hear louder, say, amen. Look at me, all of you. Look at me. When a decree is passed, the person who passed the decree can die. But decrees don't die until something is done to reverse it. Are you sure you're hearing me? So it was passed. Now, Esther is saying, let it be known. Esther chapter 8. Let it put it there. Esther chapter 8 verse 5. Let's read it. And if it please the king. Now, Esther now is established. Esther now, the man that want to kill her is dead. Others could have been rejoicing because their enemy is dead. Forgetting that what that man wrote is still on ground. Somebody can wake up one day and open the fire and realize and remember that some people need to die. And that's what happened to some family. When something has been written long time about your family and nobody ever can sue it. Someday, some power stumble into it. They say, what? Did we not write in that nobody should ever make it to this family? Did we not say that nobody should build a house? Is this this man starting a house? He has even gotten into the later level. Before you know it, he's gone. My hand is lifted. Any decree that say you won't go far. As you shout amen, we reverse it. Now, let's, let's, let's read it. Let's, let's read that Esther chapter 8 verse 5. And, and, and I read it now. And he said, if it please the king, if I have found favor in his sight, and the TB seems right before the king, and be pleasing in his eyes, let it be written to reverse the letters. Kayamaku. Are you with me yet? Let it be written to reverse what? The letters devised by Hema. Let it be written to reverse. In other words, I know Hema is dead, but the letter is still there. I know Hema is dear, but the decree is still there. Hema is dead, but right now that thing he wrote must be reversed. You know, some ladies they would have forgotten. 
after all, the king loves me. After all, I have my home now. I have my crown. And they will live as if nothing is happening. Esther said, no. I am not going to rest until this everything is laid to rest. A man may be laid to rest, but this letter too must be laid to rest. This decree in my family that say nobody can get to a certain level. Makuta Yabusete. Illegate Barunda. You don't just know why you are contemplating suicide. You don't know. There's a decree. I told you on Sunday, the man that owns which, which restaurant? Huh? Buka Hot, right? The man is handsome, has money. Ha you know when you say handsome? Handsome means hand when you get something. So the man hand gets something where well, well. Am I right? He has money, he has everything. And yet he committed suicide. So you can see it could be a decree. A decree says he can't go far. A decree says this man, you have to kill. Now, accident could not kill him. Bullet could not kill him. Arm robbers could not kill him. Sickness can't kill him. Cancer did not kill him. But there's a decree saying he must use his hand to kill himself. Any decree walking against you by the power in the blood of Jesus, we reverse it. Oh Jesus, I say we reverse it. 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 You see, I, this is like a testimony to me. I want to say it here, but I won't bother to point at her. But please let me just say it for emphasis. You know, on Sunday, I was praying. I said, There's someone here. I said, You have been contemplating suicide. How many of you remember when the girl came out here? You remember? The girl came out. But the real person that should come out did not come out. The real person that should come out did not. You know, sometimes you people make Pastor feel as if he's not hearing from God. I'm talking to you here. You make the work so difficult that sometimes it's just that. Thank God that God, you know the calling. And I was preaching on that strong anointing. I was talking about suicide. Suicide mission. I said, go bear me witness. This is my hand lifted up. I've never heard anything about suicide or any member. This is my hand lifted Mama can bear me witness. Never. I didn't know. But I was preaching. After I finished preaching in the office, and they brought a girl to me. A sister here. I've been trying to establish her in church. Put her in group or she has not, but I pray now she's listening to me. Now, I said, This lady is beautiful. I mean, beautiful. What happened? She wrote suicide notes. My son, do not sit there with me. My son, please forgive me for what I'm about to do. That is that, 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 that she's about to die. Please forgive her. This is that. I'm not pointing at her, but you all need it. Now, she wrote, Excuse me brought her to me after that message number one i look why this girl not come out when i pray she has written suicide notes but thank god for a godly sister here who just said i've not seen this sister let me call it she got there she said the girl just want to kill herself they don't write note finish that one brought her to me now the question i'm trying to say I'm, i want to say is this i asked her question do you have a job yes do you have accommodation yes what is the problem? Disappointment. Is he a bad man? No. So what is disappointment? Who not get disappointment? Nobody. Everybody they smile. But everybody they pass through. You see, you, this powder they cover a lot of things. <laughs> if somebody by yourself side tells you what they are going through, you know what you do? suicide he entered the bush he tied rope about to kill himself then suddenly there was a man who had been living in that bush no accommodation nothing so they used planted his cover himself there nothing to eat then suddenly I look one man oh God, what do you want to do say, I'm tired the man say you tired as you find rich I beg this your clothes give me first Go, oh, they cash me for this bush and I hear they live since not die with them I, I have not eaten for a long time but I they survive here I eat ants and anything I see he say but you 
with these fine clothes you are wearing, you want to kill yourself? Please give me this thing first. Now the man come down and say, I'll not die again. See, if you, you see, I still better pass you. You must always look at yourself. You are better than somebody. Because I asked her one thing. If she had told me I don't have a job, I will understand. She didn't say, I have a job. I have accommodation. She began to tell me, if you put in, uh, I had this face, something, I said, who not get her? You know what I don't go? If you see one woman now, wait till you don't go through, now powder cover you. And when I look at the face, face is still beautiful. That's okay. Okay, you're fine. Oh. There are people who were whoa. So I realize, now decree they walk against her. It's not normal. When you see yourself, you are not happy. Where you ought to be happy, there's a decree. I'm using this as a point of contact so that some of you can understand. Because I believe I preach it on Sunday and now I'm preaching it again. It will be an error if I don't measure this. Not to bring her out. But to let you know, there's a decree over your life that you should use your hand to commit suicide. And sometimes, after you commit suicide, somebody will buy a new car. You know why? Somebody you engage with. Sometimes someone you met could be someone mm, who one way or the other belong to the other world. He will not kill you with his hand. His own covenant is you will use your hand to kill yourself. And as you kill yourself, he will be promoted. But thank God you enter this kind of church. My hand is lifted. Everybody shout. Is there any decree? Come on, I want it. Look, look, all of you shout it because if you are not shouting, another thing will be possessing your mind. Shout it, say any decree. Any decree. Say it again, say any decree. Any decree. Say it again, say any decree. Any over my life. Over my life. That, is that is after my life. Shout it, say any decree. Any decree. That is out to disgrace me. In the name of Jesus. Expire by, fire. Expire by fire. Shout, I reverse you. Back to sender. I know you there. Shout back to sender. So, what is the assignment of the blood of Jesus in Colossians chapter 2, verse 14? Colossians 2 14. He said, Blotting out. Kayaba Put it on. Everybody shall blot it out. Watch it now. Blotting out what? every handwriting of what of decrees all those things they write they wrote them as so so and so time someone should die in that family as so so and so time someone should fall from the ladder and so so and so time somebody should break leg and so so and so time somebody should this or that but whatever they have decreed that will happen to you this year that is not in line with the will of God as you shout amen we reverse it I didn't hear you I said we reverse it oh my god I said we reverse it evil decrees reverse evil decrees reverse I said I reverse it by the power in the blood we reverse it somebody shout I reverse it lift up your hands by the power in the blood of Jesus as I partake in it I reverse every evil decree against my life shout I reverse it shout I reverse it shout enough is enough say you evil decree backfire against your owner say enough is enough say I reverse that decree shout I shall not die say it again say I shall not die but live to declare the works of the Lord shout a better all of you hear me now there's a bright future ahead of you the reason why the devil is trying to frustrate you there's a glorious I'm talking to you there's a glorious thing ahead of you don't let them stop you no don't live by what you are going through live by what you know come to church always let us keep impregnating you with your future lift your hands up Shaturi Abasende. Everybody shout again. Say by the power in the blood of Jesus. I break the yoke of suicide. Say I break the yoke of suicide. I broke the yoke of untimely deaths. 
of poverty of failure of sickness of affliction shut blood of jesus shut blood of jesus shut i have victory shut i have victory shut i have victory shut i'm going forward shut is my time say in the name of jesus by the power in the blood of jesus i am waxing stronger on every side let me hear it louder amen please sit down bring bring his out quickly 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 my guess it's already around let's do this quickly now god bless you I don't mind. <laughs> 